Hey everybody, Jessica Dinelli here, Cub Scout Roundtable Commissioner, and this is a special segment. I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, create a really, really easy mask um, with just your neckerchief and two hair ties. All you ladies out there and female scouts should have these already, um, especially since the hair should be up. Um, when you're in uniform, granted, I'm not in uniform. I just got home from a, a walk. Um, but I'm going to show you guys a really, really simple way to make a makeshift mask um, with just your necker. All right, so I have my necker. I, ha I never use a slide, so I always use a friendship knot. I have my two hair ties. This is my necker from the 24th World Scout Jamboree. Um, it was specially made um because uh the scouts there broke a record um for being the most people in one event for scouts worldwide it was amazing so i got the necker to since i was there um i was there as a visitor on day one okay so this is a big necker i tried it with my son's um necker as well um from I apologize, I call it a necker. Um, uh, ever since I went to the World Scout Danbury, it's a neckerchief here in um the USA, but all around the world, um, and throughout the world organization scouting movement, it's called a necker. So you take one of the sides, you fold it towards the top or the point. Flatten that down. Now keep in mind this has been in a bag. Um, since this is actually the first time I've ever used this, but you take the other side and do the same thing. So it should somewhat come up, come out to a square, as you can see, put it squared to you. Okay. Then you're going to, this one's really big. So I'm going to fold this in four. Normally if it's like a Cub Scout, um, a Cub Scout, one, you would only throw it folded in three because it is tiny, tidier, excuse me. Okay. Then you have it like this. Okay. You take your two hair ties. One goes on one side. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. One goes on one side. One goes on the other. Obviously, you want to fit it to your face. Okay. So it'll be about here. And it'll readjust from where your ear or where your ears are. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my earrings out for this one. I don't want them to get caught. Be a bloody mess if they ripped out. Okay. So then you just fold it where the hair ties are. Okay. So you fold it like this. Hair ties here, hair ties here. And then where the corner is is going to be where you're going to be wanting to that's the side you're going to want to tuck in so there's a little pocket on the opposite side you just want to tuck it in tuck the i should say oddball corner out where the actual um, corner of your necker is you want to tuck that in okay flatten it down again That's going to go at your face, and then you're just going to hook it on your ears. Okay. Now, if you, these, now these are really, there we go, I just broke this one. These are really, really tight hair ties. I've never used these hair ties. Um, if you have hair ties that are more elastic um and you've used them so they may work a little bit better i have earrings on the top so this actually hurts when i do this um but it's just a simple way you don't have to sew anything okay super super simple this works one thing that you really want to make sure you're remembering um, whether you're making a mask or you're wearing a cloth mask, um, that you sew, sewn, um, or you're wearing a, 
um, like one of those surgical masks is A, once you put your mask on, don't touch your face. Don't touch the mask. You have to absolutely take your mask off. You want to wash your hands. Okay. Take your mask off and you want to fold it. So this is the outside. Okay. This is the clean side. This is the dirty side. Regardless of what it looks like, this is going to be the dirty side. You want to fold it. Okay. So the clean part's out and you want to put it in a bag. When you go to use it again, you'll wash your hands, put it on, put it behind your ears again and wash your hands because you're going to be touching the dirty side. One thing that you want to also remember is that you don't want to touch your face. So if your nose itches, your face itches, don't pull the mask down, itch your face and then put it back up. It's going to be completely mute. It's not really going to protect you from anything. Um, also really, really thin bandanas are not necessarily the best thing to use when it comes to a DIY mask. Um, it can protect the little sneeze droplets and stuff like that. Um, if you have to sneeze or cough, but it's not going to protect you from the virus itself. Um, it's just that barrier of protection. Now with this, um, I can easily put a little filter, um, in here. Uh, if I wanted to, if I wanted to make my uh, DIY mask sewing wise, um, you can make little pockets. One thing, even though scouts as a whole cannot do any meetings, um, anybody that's doing a virtual meeting can always show them how to do this, recommend it to your scouts that they do this with their necker. Um, if adult leaders have neckers, they're bigger, obviously, um, compared to the Cub Scout ones and so, and so are the scouts BSA venturing and whatnot. Those neckers are a lot bigger. Um, so they would work a little bit better, but for the Cub Scouts, their necker is going to be the perfect size. Um, be, one thing is just making sure that you really go over with your scouts that what's going on in your face is the clean side and what's on the outside is going to be dirty regardless of what it looks like it could be looking brand spanking new it's still the dirty side when it's on the outside of your face so cdc recommended you wear masks um whenever you're out whether you're walking or you're just going out to the store or you're going across the street to the gas station um, you want to wear your mask it's not necessarily to protect you only um but it's gonna give that per uh, layer of protection if somebody around you is sick and they may not know it yet um just in case but wear your mask ultimately stay home um unless absolutely necessary um i know in the state of pennsylvania from 8 a.m until 3 p.m no kids are allowed out unless they're going with their parent to the store and Honestly, they're even recommending not doing, <coughs> not doing that. Sorry, allergies, not coronavirus over here. Um, they're recommending the kids stay home with another parent um, or a relative that if they live with you. Obviously, if you're a single mom or a single dad, you can't leave your kids in the car when they're young. You know, my son's eight. I would never leave him in the car. Um, but having that mask over is not only going to protect you, um from other people coughing around you or sneezing or what have you but it's going to protect you from those that are sick that may not know that they're already sick but ultimately stay home um stay in quarantine you know go camping in your backyard like i did last or a couple of nights ago um with my son you know just stay safe make sure you're washing your hands if you already wash your hands a lot wash them a little bit more um but this is a diy mask that is super simple um if you have, I know my chartered organization is a church. Um, they're actually requesting for our Cubs and Girl Scouts to make um, sewn masks. Obviously not these. This isn't, you really can't do anything with these. Especially you're not, you don't want to give away your necker. But um, they're requesting for sewn masks. Not as a fundraiser or anything like that. But individual families to make masks. Um, to not only give to our congregation but to help those that, you know, companies that I can actually take the cloth masks. Um, when you do the cloth mask, you want to make sure there's at least two or three layers. So it's not just one layer of cotton fabric. You have those two or three layers. Um, 
but also to make that little pocket on the inside so you can go buy um, air filters. Um, at least that's what our um, our chartered organization is requesting. Um, but yeah, really, really simple DIY masks. If you guys have any questions, comment below on my YouTube page. Find me on New Birth of Freedom Council um, Facebook page, New Birth of Freedom Council, comma, Boy Scouts. Yeah, Boy Scouts, not Boy Scouts of America. Um, find me on newbirthoffreedom.com or .org under the Scout Hub. It's the very first um, big banner that comes up on the council page. It's in blue. It says the Scout Hub. Um, we are using the hashtag Scouting at Home. And it's a really quick DIY mask, hair tie, your necker. This actually just came apart. Um, or you can do a super simple sewing. <coughs> Sorry about that. My allergies got the best of me. I had a little tickle in my throat and it didn't, didn't want to stop. But anyway, scouting at home hashtag, um, on the scout hub. You can find that, find me, um, on YouTube that way as well. You can look me up on Facebook, um, under new birth of freedom council dot or new birth of freedom council comma boy scouts. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.